Hi, my name is Arlene Chu, and welcome to Wine Uncorked. I'm here with my good pal, Tom Myers, and we're here uh, in the beautiful hills of Palo Alto, and tonight, tonight we're going to have a great show for you. Um, right Don't now, go too fast. I'm a fast drinker, but a slow learner, so okay. go things slowly we'll for me. Try to make it a little okay. bit slow. Okay. okay. All right. So Tom and I are going to be drinking wine right now, and then we're going to teach you how to look at the wine and taste the wine. And afterwards, we're going to bring Randy Robinson up, and he's a proprietor of Vino La Cale, which is in Palo Alto off University Avenue. I visited it yesterday, and it is a cute Victorian. He's got a great bar there. You've got to try it. But right now, Tom and I are going to be drinking. What, what, what are so. we having? This is the Rombauer Chardonnay, uh, Rombauer Zinfandel. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and as you can see, we've already uh, had some to drink. So, yeah. now I want to explain that also. There, it, there's it doesn't a, foam up, does it? No, it doesn't okay. foam up. It's not like sparkling wine or anything. Tom, okay. I know you don't know a lot about wine, but after this, you can you can be a master of wine. So, okay. this has a little lip on it right here, so it doesn't spill the wine. Uh, it's great to have. So, what we want to do? It's a Zinfandel, which actually um, used to, it, it's a grape that's from Italy. It's uh, the Primotivo grape and we didn't know for a good 20 years where it was from, where, what its origins is, are. So anyway, what we're going to do is look at the wine and what you want to do is hold it up against a white napkin. Well, why do we do that? Well, then you can see how clear it is, the brilliancy yeah. of it. It's, it's brilliant. It, there's a lot of clarity in it. Yeah. The rim is sort of a, it fades over into white. You notice that? A little bit watery. And the color is a, maybe a bit orange, orangey red. And what does that all tell me? Well, it makes me think this might be a little older. This is a 2003. So uh -huh. it could be a little older wine. So what you want to do is just look at it. Look at, see, it's it looks good to drink. Mm -hmm. Swirl it around in your glass. Yeah. So you're aerating it right there. Yeah. And then what you want to do is sip it. What you want to no. What you want to do is breathe it in. So put your nose right in there. Yes. And it smells like raspberry and jam and figs to me. What Can does I it smell like to you? Uh, it wants to be drunk. <laughs> okay. As you can see, Tom's ready to go. So, let's drink it. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Wow. I like that clip. Yeah. Wow. Mm, boy, that's wonderful. That's nice. Well, it's just a lot of fruit. Um, very vibrant. It's it's a good balance. It's very smooth. Um, uh, actually, Zinfandel would go really well with uh, with a stew. That would be really good. Maybe with a roast pork in front of a fire on a cold winter's day. So our next wine. Um, usually, we're going. We, usually, when you're doing a wine tasting, you drink the lighter wines first. So we did go against the rule. So we're gonna drink the Luna wine right now.